What is going on, guys? Uh, David Braga back here with some more sporting news. Uh, so the other day we talked about how Colin Cowherd is dumb. What else is new? Um, and today we are talking about the Chicago Cubs. They made some uh, big moves today at the trade deadline. First one, um, a little bit minor, uh, more minor anyway. Uh, we traded Carl Edwards Jr., the reliever, played in the uh, 10th inning of Game 7 of the World Series before being relieved by Mike Montgomery, who got the final out. Um, so we traded him to the Padres for lefty Brad Wyack. Brad Week? Brad, Brad Wyack? Um, never heard of Brad <laughs> uh, before, before today. Um... 2017 or 2019 he's played played in 30 games with an ERA of 6.57 not great played in 24 20, pitched uh, 24 and two thirds innings given up 18 earned runs not not ideal but needed needed some lefty uh, action in the bullpen so and given Edwards' recent struggles, I think this is probably a good trade, swapping one for one. Um, I don't presume there will be any cash or anything uh, else uh, given to either side. I was I was kind of expecting them to uh, to trade Carl. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's really struggled this year. I hate to see him go. I actually really liked um, Edwards, but, uh, you know, needed, needed a lefty in the pen, and... You know, we got one for, for Carl, so wishing him all the best in San Diego. Hopefully uh, hopefully he succeeds there. The other, the bigger trade, uh, of course, uh, we got outfielder Nick Castellanos from the Detroit Tigers. The Tigers are uh, kind of in a weird spot. They're tanking, I guess is one way you could put it. They traded Nick to us, and they also traded... Shane Green, their closer to the Braves for some stuff. Uh, we lost. Let me double check here, make sure I get it right. Hate to give you guys any. Uh, hate to give you guys fake news. Um, we lost. Um, uh, Paul Ricken and Alex Lang were the two pitchers uh, that we gave up. Um, I really liked Alex Lang. Uh, I thought he could be, uh, thought he had some really, really good potential for, for us. Um, but I really don't mind losing him and Rickon. Uh, we've still got Azale, Marquez, or Azalei, sorry, Marquez, Miller, Jensen, uh, et cetera. We've still got a lot of young, young pitchers to come up through the, through the pipeline. So, uh, I don't think that's too big of a deal. It's a bat that the Cubs desperately needed. He's batting 273 here. Uh, on the season, that's right on his career average of 274. Um, he's got 11 home runs, 37 ribbies. Um, so it's it's an outfield it's outfield depth that the Cubs need to go along with Hap and Almora. I expect uh, since we just brought up Hap that Almora might get sent down to open up this room. Um, I would say Hap probably moves to second, so Castellanos can play center field but i don't know that would be my assumption so we'd have half at second castellano center bryant third rizzo first Baez short uh contreras catcher hayward and right shorber and left and then our starting pitcher for our for our batting order i would i would assume that's what they would do i think castellanos could be really good in the in the two spot for us um but yeah 11 homers three triples uh 37 doubles which is uh 37 doubles right on pace for I, it's actually going to be probably his best year. He's got he had forty six uh, last year with Detroit. And he's already on thirty seven this year. So um, just a consistent hitter at two seventy three. Not necessarily the most power with uh, just eleven home runs, um, but you know it's a bat that the Cubs desperately needed, and it's a good move um, for the Tigers. I think getting some younger pitchers in uh, in through there uh, could could be good for them. Uh, they still have. Uh, what's his name Boyd um, as their sort of star pitcher now so I think it's a I think it's a good move for both teams I really like what the Cubs are doing uh, this year I think Theo and uh, everybody up upper management doing a good job of getting people um, into the Cubs organization guys like Kimbrel 
um, and now Castellanos and, you know, just making, making a whole bunch of moves. Uh, you can only blame managing and upper management so far, and I think that Cubs fans have used all of that up so far this year. So at some point, major league players got to play at a major league level. I've been saying that since whenever the Joe Madden blame started. Um, so hopefully hopefully the, the players figure it out and we can, we can win this battle in the NL Central. Super tight race uh, with the Cardinals and Brewers, and I really don't want to lose to the Cardinals and Brewers. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today. Cubs picked up Castellanos and Brad Wyack from the Tigers and Padres, respectively. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what you think the Cubs batting order will be now with Castellanos, and I will see you guys next time.